Hearthstone, for those of you who have not succumbed to its highly addictive, crack-like charm, is an online card game based on World of Warcraft that's basically like a version of Magic the Gathering that you don't have to dedicate your entire life savings to in order to have fun and get good. Well, every new expansion that gets released brings with it a whole slew of new, powerful decks that change up the metagame and torment me as I try to climb the ladder to ranked. And some of those decks are downright atrocious, and I hate them so much that I decided to make a video about it. These are the, the top, top 5 Hearthstone decks, decks that can go right Right to hell and die in a fire. Some of these decks are current, and some of them are never going to not be current, and some of them might be from a previous metagame, but I just hated them so much that I had to put them on the list. Oh, and just keep in mind that this is just my opinion from my experience with the game, so I'm sorry if I call your favorite deck out for being broken. It's just, you're a bad person and you should feel bad. Also, I suck at this game. Anyway, here's the video. Number five! Pretty much every druid. There's basically no variety when it comes to druid decks anymore. It's just ramp your mana, play huge shit way faster than you should be able to, and deal at minimum 14 damage directly to the face as soon as you have 9 mana crystals, which can be done on like turn 6 because of all the mana crystals coming out of every druid's ass. I mean, as someone who plays primarily aggro decks, it's not like I have a huge problem with using charge minions, but since you can't do anything to defend yourself on your opponent's turn like in other card games, the fact that a druid can go from zero board presence, no matter how established the opponent is, to immediately dealing 14 to the face without any warning is downright broken. Just look at this match. I'm sitting here with 13 health, extremely well established on my side of the board, knowing full well that this druid who has absolutely nothing in play is about to kill me in one fell swoop because I don't have anything with taunt that I can throw in the way. Blizzard has even come out and said that they don't like this kind of play where opponents have no chance to react because Hearthstone is a very reactionary game. That's why they nerfed Patron Warrior right into the ground and that combo was way harder to pull off. Anyway, that's my gripe with Druid. Next, number four. You know, I think Face Hunter might top the list without question for a lot of people, and rightly so. But despite my weak spot for heavy aggro decks, even I'm not blind to the fact that Face Hunter is bullshit, or possibly bore shit. It does such an insanely good job covering its own ass while sneaking in points of damage here and there from all kinds of different sources. You've got leper gnomes, abusive sergeants, weapons, knife jugglers, traps. It's insane. You can sit there and make good trades to get your board presence established, but by the time that happens, half your health is gone and the board either gets flooded with charged puppies or an explosive trap gets dropped and you can kiss your side of the field goodbye. One thing I can't stand about Hearthstone sometimes, and you'll see another example of this later in the video, is when you're punished for doing well. The example here being Release the Hounds. The better you're doing, the more fucked you are, and they always seem to have it in their hand. And let's not forget the notorious skill command. Three mana for five damage. Game over. Number three. I'm just gonna come out and say it. I hate control decks. I hate using them, I hate playing against them, and most of all, I hate spending 15 minutes of my life losing to them. And there's not a deck out there that's more controlled than Freeze Mage. I mean, is this fun? Is this fun to people? Just stalling the game and freezing everything until I basically have nothing left and you can just kill me with a fireball? I don't know about you, but the reason I'm playing Hearthstone is because I want to play Hearthstone. Not sit here with all my shit frozen, constantly getting board wiped, plowing through layer after layer of your stupid ice armor. This was a 15 minute game! I actually think I could have won if I didn't misclick here and smack Alex Straza in the face instead of the mage, but the fact was that I recovered from numerous board wipes, reloaded my hand, strategically tried to maintain board presence, and still lost this game. 15 minutes of my life. I'd rather play three games in that amount of time and only win one of them than sit here for 15 minutes while this mage stalls and stalls only to come out defeated. What's fun about this? Number two! There's a special place in hell for hand locks. If it weren't for the fact that this deck isn't really a contender in the current metagame, it would take the number one spot. But just the sheer concept of this deck makes me so mad I just want to vomit with rage. This is the ultimate example of punishing the player for doing well. The hand lock just sits there, using their hero power, taking damage, and filling up their hand. And by doing nothing, this deck fucks you over. It always looks like you're so close to victory when all of a sudden two molten giants get dropped for free and are given taunt. Two nine nines with taunt and a two three. Yeah, that costs four mana. Look how balanced that is! This entire deck just revolves around giving cheap, huge creatures taunts you can never get through and it makes me furious. There's the four five for two mana. There's the mountain giant, which is an eight eight for like three mana. There's the drake that always ends up with like ten health. There's the molten giant, which is essentially a free eight eight. And sometimes this happens?
Anyway. Uh. Number one! So this probably isn't going to surprise anyone, but coming in at number one is Secret Paladin. If you've used it or played against it, I don't need to explain any further, but if you're still watching this video, what the hell, here goes. Secret Paladin is a variation on the usual Paladin mid-range build, which uses almost every secret in the game, and this fucking broken new card called Mysterious Challenger. What's he do? He's a six mana 6-6 six, six who puts one of every secret from your deck into play. That is not fair. Let me break this down for you in case you're delusional and don't think this is broken beyond reason. First, let's look at a six mana minion with no abilities. Boulder Fist Ogre. He's a 6-7. Actually a really solid minion because on turn 6 something with 7 health is hard to deal with. So okay, Mysterious Challenger has one less health than that and an ability. And what is that ability? PUT OUT ALL YOUR SECRETS! Meaning, cast 6 spells simultaneously. That's 6 entire cards built into this one 6-6 six, six minion. That's a completely broken level of value and card advantage. Not only that, it thins the deck out so those secrets don't have to be drawn anymore. I don't know what this particular person I played against was doing with only like three secrets, but I still lost because three is already too much. It just needs to be nerfed. End of discussion. 